What's going on, YouTubers? Uh, this is a Makuni VM series carburetor, VM30 SS to be specific. Uh, it is found on tons of different ATVs and whatnot. This one was from a 2006 Polaris Trailblazer 250 two stroke. And, you know, I've just uh, cleaned it and rebuilt it and, you know, put it all back together. And I noticed there were some questions in other forums and whatnot on how the vent hoses are routed properly. So I figured I'd go over that real quick with you. Uh, of course, your fuel inlet will be right here coming from your gas tank. And this one goes to the the oil injection pump. So it's just a little one that comes around like that. It goes straight to it. But the others, very simple. This guy, you know, comes up and over and meets up in a T that comes out of the overflow tube. And these go to this little one-way valve that allows fluid and air to go only outward. Okay, but it does not allow it to come back. So you'll know if you uh, you know, blow into it, if it does not allow you to blow back towards the carburetor, you know it's installed correctly. But if it is reversed somehow or if it's clogged and does not allow fluid or air to come out, you know it needs to either be replaced or reverse it. And then there's this little T right here. You can get those. I mean, I have a whole assortment of various T's and little junctions and couplers and things like that for hoses. Otherwise, uh, that's about it. These two will basically come down and vent out to atmosphere. So there's really not that many, you know, to deal with on it. Uh, I've got a couple other videos on, you know, the internals of this carburetor, how the float setup works. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, you know, as far as accessing the jets and all main jets and everything, main, main jet, pilot jets all under there. Um, very easy to remove the, you know, the float bowl. Everything else is pretty standard. Um, this little cup right here will face towards you. You know, if your idle screw is off to the left, you'll notice that inside there is facing me. Okay, so you can see that on the uh, parts diagram. So, uh, you know, if you flip, flip it around this way, you'll notice it's pointing back that way. Okay, and um, everything else is fairly self-explanatory. Hold on, let me go get the uh, the throttle mechanism and the you know throttle cable where it comes in, and I'll show you that also. All right, here's where your throttle cable comes to it. Of course, you know this can really only go in one way easily, so don't try and force this down into the barrel right here you'll see there's a couple of slots you know like there's two long sets right here and then a short set on the other side so when the carburetor is like this okay you will go this way with it okay notice the long slot versus the little short slot right there goes in this way and it you know you may just have to turn it a little bit it should drop right down in there okay it should drop in if it does not drop in there like that you mean if you probably have it backwards you know or reversed okay so everything should drop into place very easily and just make sure everything is very clean uh, when you reassemble everything Okay, so notice how the carburetor is oriented right there. Notice how the slant is going right there. Set her up in there. Make sure the needle drops down in the hole as well and just let it drop in place. You'll know you've got it right. Otherwise, it will not go down all the way. Okay, and then uh, as far as the needle... And this little plate right here, notice how it's oriented as well because it is specific. 
Okay, and the throttle cable, hold on. All right, the throttle cable comes down. Let me get some light here. Comes down and then slots back into there. Notice, notice how the cable is there. It has a little ball and then a, a gap and then to the very end. So that gap right there is what basically feeds in to here and then slides back and then you'll lay this little plate down on top of it it's a little tricky because you're having to deal with the spring as well you know the spring has to be in first you'll tuck the spring back and let the throttle cable come down through it but then you have to push it you know all up into place there while the cable is coming down through the center of it so it's a little difficult a little precarious to deal with so just take your time on doing that. That's the hard part of any time you're uh, installing these things is to put the spring over the cable. Make sure that this O-ring is in good shape right here also, this little gasket. Make sure that everything slides on into place properly. Then push it. It'll try and fight with you a little bit. So push it back. Make sure the cable is coming back towards you here. Push it down in place firmly and just hold it in place, you know, with your other fingers if you can. This is where it gets a little difficult. Then, this little plate has to come back. Okay, the plate will go on with the tip facing downward. Okay, so we'll set that off to the side. Notice the little area right there the needle and the uh, the needle is already down in there see it right there so the needle goes in sets on this little recessed area then you know get you a good handle on the cable feed it in just past the first notch of the cable now it's probably hard for you to see and then push it once you get the first notch down in there slide it backwards Okay, you may have to wiggle with it a little bit. Now notice the cable is back in this little slotted area in the back. Okay, then it's ready for you to put the little plate with the notch facing downward. Okay, so you come around the cable with it. It's got a slot for the cable as well. Just, you know, just hold on to the cable and the spring together. That's where it gets tricky. Okay, but then, it, see, it drops right down in there with that tip facing downward. Okay. Then, just release the spring, boom, it holds itself in place. Okay, there you go. This sometimes gets tricky. And then you'll slide this back into the top of the carburetor, into the throat end of it. And, uh, you know, just make sure everything operates properly as far as throttle mechanism and everything. If it's not smooth... On the throttle, that means something is installed wrong, or it's dirty, or, you know, something's just not right. Anyway, that's that. Uh, Makuni VM30 SS. It's also similar on all kinds of other VM series Makuni carburetors. And uh, so check out other videos. We've got all kinds of carburetor videos and motorcycle-related, dirt bike-related, ATV-related stuff and that may help you out. So this here happens to be a 2006 Polaris Trailblazer 250 two-stroke. And it, it, this applies to all kinds of different Polaris two-stroke models. So y'all have a good day. Like, subscribe, follow, and click the bell. We'll see y'all.